we have oh look at that yeah it's children entertainment from beginning to end professor crumpy and fido can you believe you got a fido at home andy i have he's called bummer ah bummer <laughs> Well, I don't suppose he's got his Christmas hat on. No, and it's one thing for sure, if you try to get him to jump any of these jumps, I think he'd just lie down and give up. Well, tonight it's the last championship. It's been a championship every night. Here is the, uh, the order that they'll come in. And uh, ten have qualified. That's the first page. And uh, ten have qualified. They have qualifiers all around. There would have been literally for the ABC and I'll tell you what that's for in a moment there's the second five they would have uh, started with probably uh, anything between uh, a thousand fifteen hundred dogs and we're down to the last ten it is unbelievably competitive you can see uh, all the obstacles that are going in there's a Kelpie the Australian working Kelpie they love it they absolutely love it and the control here andy let me tell you it's just a little more than what you and i can do because they can't touch the dogs we'll see the obstacles in a moment uh, lots of different obstacles what we call weed poles what in the pony club Jim Carner world you'd call bending poles you've got dog walks where they have to walk across a, a narrow ramp there's a dog walk and you see the white painted bits at the end that's the contact points which they've got to touch what i want to know is how do you stop your dog from jumping off that part of the course well the important it's, it's all by voice and and signals you can just watch the handlers going around you can see their hands going out that is exactly the sort of signal that we're telling the horse where to go the handlers have got to be in exactly the right place so they can turn their dogs and Arthur Rogers who is the designer has been fantastic this week because not only actually does he design but he judges as well there he is right in the front and you can see for instance if they look at right across thing a lot of the fences come with what looks like one after another but Arthur changes them so they can easily go in the wrong direction and the a-frame there just disappearing out there's the a-frame that's climbing up ever Pop it down the other side again. Those important white contacts. So they points. have to put their paws They've got on the white bit. To put their paws okay. on the white bit. Yeah. There's the tyre. That's the easy one. The tyre. It is uh, quite, quite amazing. Believe me. And it's quick as the best. Five faults for uh, every mistake the man. And uh, there's the man who puts his hand up. The judge, Arthur Rogers, very respected. And actually on his left, John Gilbert who's been one of the leading lights in dog agility world he uh, and his uh, partner jackie retire at this show and this is something that has uh, really taken off thanks to the uh, olympia show right in the middle there the white hair just popped out a shot was uh, dave ray who's the man who runs it for crafts he's the uh, agility coordinator in this country not a lovely picture are we going to have fun? Are we going to have fun, Mother? Yes, we are, believe me. And these Kelpies can go. You have got to have a very, very fast coordination here to uh, make this work. Jane Anderson is the first up. Jane from Roxham over in Norfolk with uh, the Kelpie bitch, Bindi. Corey's boomerang Bindi will be the first to go and this will be fast and furious so don't blink you will miss it are you sitting tight Andy I am I mean I'm just uh, looking at the handlers and thinking how fit do they have to be they have to be very fit because they've got to be well positioned that's the key to this yeah they're, they're not in the right place the dogs need their body language and yeah. so the clock starts and they've got to jump look at that turn here's the weed poles they've got to go in and out Look right, Strictly come dog dancing walk. up the dog walk down points. the other side. Got to go on those white bits. Yes, in jump the into the tunnel. Turn, Don't mind the dark. Now right. the seesaw. seesaw. Watch turn the balance. Right. Up the top. Back into the tunnel turn. again. Turn. Light dark, it's light dark. Oh, look at this. Coming for home. Look at the clock over the wall. Now the long jump. Here's down the final line. Back up over the A-frame again. Still clear. This is fast. This is very fast, coming for home, look at that. And there's McCollum, did I do well? Yes, you did. Well done, Bindi, 36-91. Got the hang, 
Yes. <laughs> See your dog here next year, Andy? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue. People watching this, me included, how on earth do you go about training them to do this? It's a big fascinating. Well, this is uh, Joe Hislop now from commentary with Keisha. It's a Malinois, Belgian Shepherd dog, bigger dog, but very intelligent, very quick been competing together as a pair for three years but their first time here this is the big one as far as dog agility is concerned in this country big dog to go through those tunnels and when you think of it andy they're going from light to dark back in the tunnel again they've got to adjust to the lights and still you know respond to the handlers can signals at the a-frame how quick is this got five so one error 37 38 39 Two down, 40-53. So uh, that's Joe Hislop, Keisha. Hello, what have we got here now? Neil Ellis, Julie Bearded Collie. I tell you, it must be a bit hot in there. <laughs> oh, look at that, look at the sickness for that. They're a bit of the dog, dog walk. And the dogs, you see how they, they they're not almost don't look colorblind do they because they just know the uh, where they've got a step to get on that white uh, contact board watch where the handlers are so important to get that control over the long jump we're coming for home totally wants to a friend of neil ellis from paul in dorset over the a frame he was delighted to qualify here comes home oh good time 37 09 so that goes second. Jane Anderson still leads. Jane Anderson with Bindi. Now Neil Ellis with Tully goes second. Well, well, well. Jackie Kenny coming next. Jackie Kenny running now. Jackie Kenny uh, well on her way with Kinder. Another Australian working Kelpie. Careful. They come from Chesterfield. Very first Kelpie for Jackie. They really are very quick. It's uh, a, You've got to be so quick with the coordination here, with the brain, the signals, everything. The dogs just... Yeah, look at that. They have got such scope. This is quick. Still clear. 36.91, and it's going to be close. Not quite. 37.57. That goes uh, into second place. Third place it is. She's also fast. <laughs> so now what have we got now? Nikki Holden is next up. Nikki Holden. And Nikki comes from uh, Borden, New Hampshire. With uh, the bearded collie again. Oh, we've been... Oh, we've had our... This one's had a bit of a haircut. Yeah, a bit of a haircut. Faster version. So, seven and a half years old, this one. Rescue dog, actually, has uh, been with them for some six years. The Holden family from Borden, Casca. Just that one mistake at the moment. Oh, they are flying. Look at that. No, no, look at me, mother. Get on with it. <laughs> Five it is, 35-73. Still Jane Anderson leading. Jane Anderson leading. Five left to go. So it's uh, Anna Braley now. Anna Braley from Worcester with the Rebel. It's the Kelpie again. And the ABC is uh, any breed other than Collie, because the Collie is the breed that is renowned as a good agility dog. And so this is all the other breeds, not the Collie. And that's what the ABC stands for. Oh! And you just see moments concentration. There was Anna looking to see where to go next, and that moments co concentration caused the five. Lovely shot there. there again, the dog just not quite sure where he's going, and that's where the handling is so important. Aren't they quick, Andy? They're unbelievable. I have to say, I've got a soft spot for these bearded collies. Yeah, they are they just lovely. Would, not sure I'd want a heavy coat quite to that and run as fast as that, though. Five it is, 39.58. 39.58 goes fifth. Jane Anderson still out in front. And uh, it's Nigel Staines now. You can understand why uh, these dogs are so, so popular. Nigel Staines uh, is from Alston up in Cumbria. They come in length and breadth. And these handlers have gone through all sorts of weathers to get here.
So the ABC champion at the moment, Jane Anderson. Now through the wee poles. Look at that. Was there anyone in Strictly Come Dancing that went through anything like that? They don't move like that. <laughs> oh, this looks unbelievably quick to me, right? Neil Staines, yeah, he's quick. Four times national champion, three times Olympia champion. He's got a, a real reputation to hold here. He's chasing 36.91. This is quick. She's had a, a litter in the summer, but the, the bitch is flying. This is quick. 32. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Zico. Zico, twice Crufts champion, three times dog of the year. And that's what it takes. That was different class. That was amazing. That was quite brilliant. Three Nigel seconds, Staines then. As away goes Jason Gardner now. Jason Gardner on course. Very strong dog, loves to get away. This is a dog, uh, Shafford's uh, Pros Prodigy. Go on, Jason. They've got to be Come on. They really, have. they really have got something to uh, beat here, that's for sure. Guiding still all the way around this course. It's the Armist the Voice. And it is the relationship Jason Gardner then dog. still clear. The and yeah. just five, 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 coming for home. It's a quick but time. Five, it's a very quick time. Five, it's quicker than Nigel States. Can you believe five, that? Five, well five, done, five, uh, Jason Gardner and Chad Fitzbody. Five. So that puts him down 32 five. five. He's fifth. He's fifth. Now here is uh, Mark, Mark Douglas and his dog. Mark from Pontypridd with Ruby. Ruby, eight years old, another brilliant dog, represented Team Great Britain at this year's Europeans. 33-1-5 to beat, it's quick. You'd almost think the dogs had walked the course, wouldn't you? Oh, look at that, two wheels on the wagon around that corner. Up the A-frame, down the A-frame. Two to go. Thirty-two. Thirty. Would you mean it? Yes, he has. Mark Douglas has taken over from uh, that great round from Nigel Staines and Zico. Wow. Oh, Ruby goes into the lead. Believable. Sue Leach now. Now this. Now One of the last, Sulic. So it's the last dog we shall see in the uh, Olympia Show Jumping Championship. What can they do? Sulic, Blackhorn's Red Devil. Oh, and he is a Red Devil. Can they beat that time of 33.09 of Ruby and Mark Douglas? Oh, gone. But aren't they a joy to watch? Ten again. The crowd love it. The kids love it. And that's why this show. Whoops! <laughs> Not the direct line down, but aren't they some characters? Sadly eliminated. But Andy, uh, I thought you'd enjoy that. I did. It's just the bearded collies. I know they're not the quickest, but they look so cute. Yeah, they do. They do. But the handlers, you can see the amount of training that goes in. Quite sensational. There it is. Mark Douglas with that lovely dog. Ruby Tuesday takes the title. Nigel Staines with the working Kelpie. Zico takes second. He's the man who's won the title four times, but he gets pipped this time. And then third, Jane Anderson, all the way from Roxham in Norfolk with Bindi, the other Kelpie. And there are all the others that have taken part too. Neil Ellis. There's uh, Jason Gardner. Great round with Chappard's prodigy. But to go clear and go fast, it takes unbelievable skill.